How to install UB ports Ubuntu Touch on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install UB ports Ubuntu Touch on your Poco F1. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Torp recovery installed. Another thing, make sure your batteries charge at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, note we're going to do a format data in the middle of the process. So you will need access to a computer to transfer the required files to your POCO F1. And in case you want to have a first look at UB ports Ubuntu Touch running on the POCO F1, I do have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description of this video. As you can see, I am running MIUI 11 on my POCO F1. However, if you are running a custom ROM, the process still remains the same. All you need to do is skip the steps which are not applicable. First thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then we'll go into password and security and you have to remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you will go back and then you'll go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, you will go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? Well, we're doing this because we're going from stock to UB ports Ubuntu Touch and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. What are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of the video. The first file which you need is a special kernel for the POCO F1. Then you need Halium boot no console patch zip file the halium ram disk zip file and then you need lineage os 16 for the poco f1 yes this is a necessary step and a necessary file and we do need to flash lineage os 16 on our poco f1 then you need the ub ports gsi installer the version which i am using for this video is version 4 which is the latest at the time of recording this video next thing we need to do is boot into tour recovery for that the first thing you need to do is turn your device off and once you've turned your device off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP Recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into TWRP Recovery, first thing we'll do is we'll go into Wipe, Advanced Wipe, select Dalvik Cache System Vendor and Data and then swipe to Wipe. If you do not get the option for Vendor, that means you're not using an appropriate version of TWRP Recovery. The version which I'm using is linked in the description of this video. Next thing, click on the Home button, go into Install and select the Lineage OS 16 zip file. In case you downloaded the file on your phone directly, it will be in the download folder. In my case, I've created a separate folder called poco underscore ubu. Select the lineage OS 16 zip file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once lineage OS 16 has flashed successfully, click on the home button, go into wipe, format data, type in yes, and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. Do note that a format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things next up we'll click on the home button select reboot and then select recovery once we have booted back into two up recovery if you go into install you will see that we do not have anything in our sd card all we have is a two up folder so what we need to do next is connect our phone to the computer and transfer the files which are needed for ubuntu touch back to our poco f1 once we have transferred all the files, we'll go into install and as you can see, I've created a separate folder called poco underscore ubu and these are the files which we need. We do not need to flash lineage OS 16 again, so I did not transfer that file. What we need to do next is select the files in the order in which I tell you. First file which you need to select is the UB ports GSI installer, then you will click on add more zips, select the beryllium kernel zip file, then click on add more zips and then you're going to select the RAM disk file which is Halium RAM disk click on add more zips and the last file which you need to select is the halium boot no console once you have selected all the four files all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully all we need to do is select reboot system now in case you get stuck on the poco phone logo or the poco logo all you need to do is perform a first reboot so just press and hold the power button until your device reboots and once your device reboots let go of the power button and bam there it is you can see we have the ubuntu touch boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into ub ports and as you can see we are on the setup screen you can complete the initial setup the password is fablet when you lock your device for the first time and then try to unlock it 
it is going to ask for a password the password is tablet so there it is peeps that is how you install ub ports ubuntu touch on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you